All right. For this other thing that you can do with the distance checker. Now the thing I like about the distance checker is you can set two points to be locators, right? So then when two locators come within each other's um, distance of like five or three or something, you can have something uh, get triggered, right? You can have it um, do something. Now you can't do that with uh, trigger areas because, well, I don't know why. Uh, you can't because it doesn't have any options for when entered by a locator. That wouldn't really make sense. But you can use them as um, locations for the distance tracker. Now you're thinking, well, that doesn't make sense. How can the locators come within a certain distance of each other? You know, locators, they can't move. Once you place them in the toy box, you can't pick them up. They don't roam around on their own like actors do. Um, but the way you make a move is you put them on a path, right? So, I have a path here, and I have some locators. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because, um, because well, it's fun. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a new location, right? I want this locator to be target A. And I want this locator over here I want that one to be target B for this trigger area. All right, now I have those as trigger areas, or those as um, points for the distance checker. Now I'm gonna connect this to the path. and connect it to a toy box path. I'm gonna need something to stop and reset uh, that... What am I gonna use here? Probably a button. Yes, action button. I'm gonna need two of them, one to start and stop and one to reset. Now this one, when it's pressed, the path will reset and stop. And then I want this one here, when it's pressed, to reset and start this path. Reset and play. Great. Now, I'm going to reset and stop it. You see, the reason that this is helpful. You can do a lot of different stuff with this, but the reason I'm going to do it is I want uh, something to happen only when um, what do we have here? I'm going to go unfiltered. I'm going to find King Candy. When King Candy comes within a certain distance of that middle locator, right? Which is above that X. So I'm going to find King Candy. He will be in set piece, right? Maybe. Hey Nick, do you know if it's in set piece? I don't think it's in set piece. Oh yeah, it is. King Candy. Right. So when King Candy comes within a distance of three of this locator. Well, how do I do that? I can't have King Candy be um, a connected actor for the distance checker. But what I can do is I can put him on that path and make sure he moves with this locator, right? So I'm going to connect King Candy to the toy box path. And the one thing I want to do is I want when this locator starts on the path, I want King Candy to start on the path. And when it stops on the path, I want King Candy to stop on the path, right? Oops, I want him. So, new logic connection. When it's stopped, I want King Candy to also stop on the path. That makes sure they move together, right? I'm gonna change the settings of this path so 
Um, it doesn't go one way. Or I'd have to do that with the objects, right? Yeah. I'll do it with the objects on the path. I want them to go back and forth, right? They can orient her along the path, too. I don't care. Um, movement style. Back and forth. Do the same thing for King Candy here. I want the movement style to be back and forth. Great. Now I'm going to reset and stop the path again so King Candy will quit moving. Okay. Great. Now, when those two locators, right, come within a distance of, well, I'm going to set the first distance to three. All right. And target A is going to be the connected locator. Target B is also the connected locator. Now, when those targets come within a distance of three, I want this logic gate to close, right? But also, when they exit that distance of three, right, they're no longer within a distance of three, I want this logic gate to open back up again. All right, now one thing I want is when this logic gate is closed, I'm gonna want this block to turn green, okay? And when this logic gate is open, I want that to be gray again, right? gray just like it is now all right and this button when this button's pushed that's when I want this logic gate here to receive an input now if the logic gate is open and it receives an input it will output I want that to make a buzzer noise okay buzzer noise cool but, what happens when it's closed? That means those uh, locators are within a distance of three. That logic gate's closed. So when it receives an input, it will have an input blocked. And when the input's blocked, I want this um, effects generator, right? I want the effects toy here to play... I don't know what kind of explosion. A huge explosion. Now, I want the locator um, that's moving on the path here. Oops. Eh. Okay, I'm going to do this in spark mode. Because I can't seem to reach it. New locator connection. I want this locator. What? Yeah, there. To be the effects location. All right. I'm gonna move this so it looks more accurate. There. Now, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to start the path. Now it's gray because those locate that locator is not within a distance of three of the other locator. When it e enters, the logic gate closes. That turns green. The exits, logic gate opens. So I'm going to use this to tell when it is. So it's open right now. I hit it. Logic gate's open. Outputs and then a buzzer. Right. What happens when it's green? Logic gate's closed. 
Makes an explosion, right? X marks the spot. Here's the thing. We have a trap. We have to wait until King Candy flies over the trap. Because if we activate it now... Oh no, he was too far away. It didn't work. But if he's close... Explosion. We hit King Candy and we win the game. Or something like that, right? That's something that I like to do using a logic gate and a distance checker and a path. All right. You know what? That's all I had for today. I'm kind of tired and I'll talk to everyone some other time. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. Maybe I'll play a playset or do something else fun in the toy box. All right, everyone. Have a good night and um, yeah, later.